Hi everyone, welcome to another First Chapter Friday. I'm continuing our One Book, One School First Chapter readings, and this one is Linked. Going to be a very popular one because so many people love the, the works by Gordon Corman. He is the author of this book, and Linked is a book that is going to be talking about um, acceptance of religious differences. Okay, get cozy. <laughs> Michael Amorosa, Chapter 1 My mother says I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached to my body. Too bad my phone isn't also attached somewhere. I left it at school again. I know this is because I butt-dialed our landline at home. I have no idea why. Ever since I dropped it in the toilet, it's been glitchy. When I picked it up, I hear a muffled motor in the background. I'm hoping that means that the phone is in my locker and the noise is Mr. Kennedy, the custodian, using that big floor polishing machine. And then the sound dies abruptly. That means either Mr. Kennedy finished polishing or my phone died. It's super old, so a battery charge lasts about a millionth of a second. I jump on my bike, choke cherry, is a pretty small town, but we live on the opposite side, so it's a long ride. I'm used to it, though. I always leave something at school, and nine times out of ten, I have to go back and get it. Mom and Dad would give me a lift, but then they'd know. I'm going out, is all the detail I provide. Thanks to new security, every single door to the school is locked but I still go from entrance to entrance, banging and yelling, hoping that Mr. Kennedy is close enough to one of them to hear me over the roar of that polisher. To my surprise, the door to the boy's locker room swings open when I kick it. I'm in. Then I'm entering the school from the back corner that leads out to the football field. But my locker is in the main hall, not far from the principal's office. The floor polisher sounds far away, maybe upstairs. I open my locker, and there it is, the world's oldest phone. I probably shouldn't have called it 11 times because it's sitting on a tray of poster paints, and all of that vibrating has made the blue and yellow leak out together, raining green blobs down onto my geography textbook. I'm the president of the art club, so I've always got supplies in my locker and stains on my gym clothes, books, etc. Last year, I got charged a $50 cleaning fee to remove the melted pastels from my iPad screen. Like it's my fault that the temperature went up to 100 the weekend before the last day of school. I checked the phone, dead, just like I suspected. I shut my locker, and I turn to leave. Only I don't leave. I freeze. I blink and blink again, struggling to wrap my mind about what I am seeing. It's spray-painted in red on the blank expanse of wall above the staircase leading to the second story. That large X, with each arm continued at a right angle, I stare at it in horror and disbelief, hoping that my eyes are deceiving me and that this ugly red symbol is something other than what I know it is. A SWAT sticker. Michael? Mr. Kennedy's voice startles me out of my state of shock. I drop my phone, which bounces on the floor. It's probably cracked, possibly ruined but I can't tear my gaze from the symbol on the wall. What did you forget this time? The custodian asks in exasperation. All I can do is point up. When Mr. Kennedy sees it, a sharp gasp is torn from him. He turns to me. You didn't, he begins. I I mean, you wouldn't? Of course not, I answer. Why would the only Dominican kid in the whole school be the one to draw a racist symbol? I almost add, nobody would. But there's the evidence right in front of us. Somebody 
did. I reach down to pick up my phone and almost drop it again. The screen is fractured. But even through the spider web of damage, I can see that awful thing on the wall reflected in the glass. The custodian takes out his own phone. I'm calling the police. And thus begins the story of Linked. I hope this is going to be one of your one book, one school choices. It is magnificent and it has a mystery. It has um, people who are quasi-bullying and people who just have a lot of prejudice, a lot of assumptions about who a person is without really getting to know a person to know the truth about them first. So great story. I hope you have a great week and you read the rest. Take care.